Let's speak to Mark Kimmett, who's a former Brigadier General of the U.S. Army, who joins us now from Washington, D.C. Mark, good to have you with us. So tell us about um, your thoughts Thanks. on this development of the safe zone and, and how it might work. Well, first, in principle, I think it's a good idea. Uh, this removes a number of the issues that Turkey and the United States have had, primarily recognizing Turkey's legitimate national security concerns, both inside and in the near uh, vicinity of the Turkish border. Uh, it also demonstrates that the United States is listening more carefully to President Erdogan and recognizing his uh, issues that need to be addressed in this, in this overall uh, fight with not only Syria but also with the YPG. We do have some concerns, as was said by your correspondent, on how these would be set up in the modalities and also the standard problems that these types of safe zones have. Uh, is the Pentagon keen on this idea, do you think? Well, the Pentagon normally does what the president tells it to do. Uh, there should be no problem with either the concept or the execution of the concept. The Pentagon has talked about humanitarian safe zones in Syria for many, many years. This seems to be a, a good application of that principle. So I would expect that if the president directs it, the Pentagon will get on with it. We've seen the establishment of, of de-escalation zones before Idlib, for example. Um, they've not been totally successful. They've not been free of attack. Uh, they're clearly difficult to monitor. So what are the challenges around establishing and, and uh, controlling such a zone? Well, first, I think the, the easiest part of this is the fact that you don't have an intermingling of those forces right now, either the Turkish forces nor the YPG. De-escalation zones are typically those areas that have that intermingling and that fighting going on in the first instance. Uh, but there are some challenges here. It's not simply a matter of setting up the de-escalation de zone. It's a matter also of making sure that there are no forces inside that safe zone. And more importantly, if there are violations of that safe zone, who is going to monitor that and who is going to enforce that? These are the issues that need to be worked out between the military planners, and I would hope that they come to a conclusion quite soon. Do you think that this is going to help smooth tensions between Washington and Ankara because um, there has been a difference of opinion on the YPG fighters? It will not solve all the problems. Uh, there are many problems between our country, not only our countries, not only in Syria, but on other larger uh, issues as well. But on the specific issue of Syria, this in many ways recognizes the legitimate national security concerns of Turkey. It also allows the United States to find a way out, so to speak, of those fighters that have been fighting alongside the United States in the fight against ISIS. So it's not a perfect solution, but at least it may be a halfway positive solution that could at least reduce that amount of tension. Mark, thanks very much indeed for that. Mark Kimmett in Washington, D.C. there.